Lots of stuff going on in this problem. We got two squares that is given to us and that area is three. So let's go ahead and label that. The next important information is that we got an equilateral triangle right here. The main question is asking what is the area of this shaded region? And if you look at your answers choices, they are subtracting something from three because the area of this is three. So we just got to subtract this white region to find the area of the shaded region. And I was wondering what to do with this equilateral triangle too. Now I figured it out in an equilateral triangle. The degree measurements inside is 60 degrees so let's go ahead and label that 60 degrees these two are squares and since these two are squares then these two line segments are going to be parallel then the last important information that is not given to us is that this line eh is your transversal that cuts through these two parallel lines. So why do we need that? Well, what do you know about a transversal and parallel lines? It's that the corresponding angles are congruent. If this is 60 degrees, then you know that angle DHA is going to also be 60 degrees. If you look in right here, if this is 90, then you know that this part's going to be 90. This piece on the top, HDA, is going to be 30 degrees. Let me redraw that on the side right here. In that triangle, the only measurement that I know is that this long piece right here is the square root of three and that's because it's a square and the given measurement is right there so recall what you know about a 30 60 90 the one across 30 is X the one across 60 is X root 3 the hypotenuse which we don't really need in this problem but I'm gonna put it anyways is just 2x if you look at this triangle all we really need is the base because once I have the base I got the height right here then I can find the area of a triangle, which is half base times height. So how do I do that? How do I solve for X? I can set these two right here equal to each other. Solve for X, which is just one step divide by root three. And now we'll get X in this problem. X will equal one. I'm going to redraw that triangle again because that one's all messed up. The base is one. The height is square root of three to find the area it's just a half times one times root three or that's going to simplify to square root of three over two and to find the area of the shaded region we're just going to take the area of the square which is three minus the area of the triangle which is root three over two and if you look at your answer choices that would be b that is one of the tougher questions that i found on an sat hope you liked it hope you got some good review if you did like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode.